Hello guys, welcome to another week of photo news. I decided to get out of the office today and so this is my office today. Anyways, let's get on to photo news. I did take out the liberty to write out my notes on the sheet of paper. Uh, so anyways, let's get on to it. Uh, the first one I have for you is about Zeiss Batis. It's spelled B-A-T-I-S. And it's the first OLED display for Sony's cameras. It's a 25mm f2 and an 85mm 1.8. And they're the world's first full, full frame autofocus lenses that feature an OLED display on the lens for focus and distance and depth of field. The lenses are the pioneers, as I says, of the new era. They are. They're the first Sony FE mount lenses exclusively designed and distributed by Zeiss and the lens bodies feature an innovative OLED display that helps photographers easily set the focus and depth of field they want for their composition. The 25mm f2 and the 85mm f8 will be available in July of 2015 with the price tags of $1,299 and $1,199, respectively. Alright, my next story is about the 2015 Pulitzer Prize winners were announced the other day, and the two people got it in photography, one for feature photography, the other one's for breaking news photography. The feature photographer was Daniel Berhulak, B-E-R-E-H-U-L-A-K, and the other one was for the entire St. Louis Post-Dispatch. I'm happy about Daniel getting it for his feature photography on Ebola, but I'm even more happy about St. Louis Post-Dispatch getting it for the entire team, because one, I live in the St. Louis metropolitan area, and it just makes me feel even prouder. Anyways, they got it on you know the events of Ferguson happening, and their category that they won was breaking news photography. My next story is also my last story, and it's about Megan V. Blazier. I hope I didn't butcher your name. It's spelled B-L-A-Z-I-E-R. Anyways, she didn't really get into she didn't really get into photography until her son was born. And like most parents, she the first thing she did was go out and buy a camera, and she bought a point and shoot actually, and so she could document every minute of her child's life as she, it grew up and everything. But she started taking more and more pictures and her vision started expanding and seeing things in a different way. Which is really cool, okay? Because these photos are amazing. Okay, she found inspiration in everyday scenery and, you know, stuff that we would go by and look at. You know, most people would. I'm a photographer, so I see it too. But most people would go by and look, oh, an abandoned building. Oh, that's just a rusted out, you know, something or other. The, the decay and the beauty of it is what she saw, and that's fantastic. I mean, these photos are completely amazing, and she don't have any expensive gear at all. She still uses that point-and-shoot camera. The camera that she uses also isn't even a, you know, expensive DSLR or anything like that. It's a Canon PowerShot SX40HS model. And she's not even sure they make it anymore. I haven't even heard of this model, so I'm pretty sure they don't make it anymore. Anyways, she can remember when people ask her what kind of camera she uses, and she dodged the question completely. I mean, she changed topic, whatever, because she thought maybe people would think differently of her by using this. But these photos speak for themselves. I mean, these photos are great. And she frequently she frequently tells new photographers to try point and shoot before going to a full frame or DSLR or any other type of camera to make sure that they like it, which makes complete sense. Her stuff is amazing. And that's it for this photo, this week in photo news. If you want any more information, I have a subscribe button right down here. I also have the photo news that I have done throughout the weeks and stuff, and also my new Friday videos. I post videos every Tuesday and Friday now, so if you want to go ahead and, you know, watch them, click on one of these two things over here. If not, click subscribe down below, and I'll see you next week. Okay? Peace out. Bye.